Hello everyone and welcome to a new Unity tutorial video and in this video we're going to be going over how to convert between uh, screen space to uh, canvas coordinates. And we're going to be uh, covering all three different render modes, so overlay, uh, screen space, and world space. So let's first get started by creating a UI element. So we're going to make an image. And the idea here is that wherever I click on the screen using the mouse, that image should go there. So we will also need an empty game object and a script that we're going to be calling screen to canvas. So this game, empty game object is going to contain our script and it's going to be manipulating this image to move it uh, anywhere on the screen that we click. So let's attach it to our game object and then open it up. And we will need a few variables. So the first one will be a public rect transform and this one will be the parent. So this is going to be the parent of the object that we want to move around well, as well as a public camera M UI camera. So that's our UI camera and public rec transform M image. So that will be the image that we are moving around. Now we can go back to Unity and attach all of these uh, variables to the objects that they belong to. So for now, our parent is the canvas, but we have it separate from the canvas for now uh, to make sure that we can create. Uh, parents or children of the canvas and attach our image to it and it's, it would still work. So let's attach that to it for now. Uh, the UI camera is our main camera right now, but it could be different for a different UI. And finally, our image in here. Okay, now for the bit of code that makes it all work, it's pretty small. And the idea is to just say if the input dot get mouse button down, Zero. So if our left mouse button is pressed, we want to create a vector two called anchored position, and then call rect transform utility dot screen point to local point in a rectangle, and so it wants the rect transform that it that point will be relative to, and that's where the parent comes in. So we're first going to pass in the parent. Next, we're going to give it the uh, screen position that we want. That will be the input dot screen or mouse position. And finally, our MUI camera, as well as our out anchored position. So this function will do all the work for us that we need to get our screen position. Uh, and so we can say if our M image dot anchored position equals anchored position. And this piece of code should work for screen space and world space, but it will not work for overlay. So if we go back and test it in Unity, let's click on our canvas and change it to screen space. Let's change our scaler to scale with screen size, just to keep it consistent between the different, uh, the different resolutions. And over here, we need a camera attached. So let's attach our main camera. So we have our main camera attached. We have the scaling set to scale with screen size. And now if we run it and click anywhere, we should be able to go exactly where uh, we go on the screen. Now, if we change the resolution, so let's say we change it to something like this and we run it, wherever we click, our image should still match where the mouse is. And this should also work with world space. So if we do the exact same thing and click anywhere, that should work as well. Now, this will not work, however, for overlay. So if we switch to overlay, as you can see here, you're just stuck to the bottom left corner of the screen. And this is because we're passing in the UI camera and overlay does not contain a camera. So what we need to do is pass in null instead of UI camera if we have overlay. So what we can do is do a public, canvas and canvas and using this we can say if so we can say where we're passing in the camera canvas dot render mode is equal to render mode dot 
screen space overlay. So if this is our render mode, we want to pass in null. Otherwise, we want to pass in our UI camera. And then if we go back here and we're still on overlay and then run. Oh. We didn't assign our canvas. So let's do that. So our canvas is not here. So let's attach it and then run again. And there we go. So that should work with overlay as well. This is also pretty helpful if you have a 3D object in the world. You can do world to screen space uh, to get the screen point. And then instead of passing in the input mouse position, you can also, you can instead pass in that object's world position or screen position using the screen to world function or world to screen point function. And that should give you uh, the position that you need. Okay. And the main reason why I made this video to begin with is because I was working on a project that I needed to do this for, and I didn't really find anything that I can just get right away from it. That wasn't very clear what this function did. I didn't know about it until, until then. So I thought that it would be pretty helpful to make a video about it for anyone that needs it. And I also go back to these videos and watch them whenever I forget what I did before. So it's pretty helpful for me as well. Um, and just a quick look at what I was working on. Uh, I was trying to make a grid where it makes a hexagon grid and then you can click anywhere and it would put a pedal exactly where you click, regardless of what screen resolution that you go for. And that was the main uh, issue is that I needed to know exactly where I'm clicking uh, and then assigning or creating these images within a canvas. Um, and the interesting part that I use this for as well for the grid is to know exactly where the grid starts and ends within the canvas relative to the screen position or the screen size. Like for example, you'll notice that the grid is pretty dense here, but if we go to a smaller resolution, the grid will be less dense, but it will only cover the screen. It will not go over uh, how big the screen is. And what I did, if you're interested is all I did was I did pretty much the exact same idea here. So we can copy all of this and paste it in start. And let's not change the image position anymore just so that we know exactly where it's going. And then instead of passing it the input position, I just passed it in a vector two or vector 3.0. And vector 3.0 just tells it it wants the bottom left corner of the screen. So now if we go here and try to run it, it will not move the image because we did not set the image to move here. So m image dot anchored position equals anchored position. Okay, let's try that now. And as you can see, we're in the bottom left corner of the screen. And that tells you where you are uh, position wise inside the parent and then if instead of vector 3.0 we did something like new vector 3 with screen dot width screen dot height and 1.0 and then run it we get the right uh, the top right corner of the screen so now we now know exactly where we are relative to the parent and the main reason why I put the parent as a, as a separate variable here is because let's say I make an empty game object over here and then I attach my image to it. I still want, so let's say, yeah, so the image is in here and it's attached to it. I still want to be able to say, this is the new parent now, set the image's position relative to the parent, not the canvas. This is because it needs the parent in this function. So now if we run it, We probably don't want to do the top right corner anymore. We want to do this again. And there we go. So we're setting it relative to the, empty, the game object here. So if we move it around and then run it again, it should still be exactly where the mouse clicks, no matter where the parent is, but it's setting it into the correct position relative to the parent. Okay, so I really hope that this video helped. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, Please leave them below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.